Hi, I'm Hugh Breslin with Microchips FPGA Business Units. In this video, we're going to have a look at the factory MSS configuration for the icicle kit. First, we'll have a look at where to find the MSS configuration file in the reference design repository. Then we'll have a look at opening an MSS configuration and how to look at the default settings and how to generate a configuration. And finally, we'll have a look at how to import an MSS component into a Libro design. The Icicle Kit reference design can be found on the Polarfire SOC GitHub. In this repository, there's a script support folder, and this contains two .config files. In the downloaded repository, once you've extracted it, you can open either of these files using the MSS configurator to view the MSS configuration for them. To open up an existing MSS configuration, launch the MSS configurator by searching for Polarfire SOC MSS configurator in Start on Windows, for example. Then select Project, Open, and navigate to the config file that you're going to look at. So for example, in my case in the reference design, I'm in the script support folder, and I'm going to op open up the icicle emmc config file. The first thing you configure for any MSS configuration is the clocks. So in our case, our MSS reference clock input is set to be the dedicated IO from bank five ref clock and our CPU PLL frequency is set to 600 MHz. Then we set our core clock dividers, and our CPU core is set to divide by one, our AXI divider divides by two, and our AHB APB divider divides by four. Because we've got the Mac enabled in this design, we set our SGMI, SGMII reference clock input source to be dedicated from bank five, along with our Mac TSU. And then as well, we've DDR enabled in this design. So we set our DDR reference clock input source to be the dedicated IO from bank five. And then finally, we set the frequency for the dedicated IO bank five ref clock to be 125 megahertz. Next, you configure your fix or fabric interface controllers. In the case of the reference design, we have FIC0 enabled as an AXI4 slave. We have FIC1 enabled as an AXI4 master, and we have FIC2 enabled or disabled for this design. We have FIC3 enabled as an APB master to the fabric. Next, we set up our IO, our IO configuration. So I'm looking at the EMMC configuration, and I can see that the EMMC is enabled here. The EMMC pins are enabled on MSSIO's bank 4, and the data 4 to 7 pins are enabled on MSSIO's bank 4. And this table here shows you all of the available MSSIOs for this part. And if we have a look at the Icicle Kit schematics, which are available on the product page, on page 13, you can see bank 2 and bank 4 listed off. So I can see that I can select between my SD card uh, write protect pin and my EMMC reset end pin, and so on for all of the bank four um, MSSIOs. And then for bank two, there are several dedicated pins going out for different things like CAN and USB. Now to select between SD card and EMMC, we need to go to the page for our EMMC interface or our SDIO interface. There's a truth table shown here that allows you to pick between an SD card and an EMMC configuration. There are three input pins. If the enable is tied high, then none of our outputs are connected. If our enable is tied low and input one and input two are tied low, we're connected to the NC configuration. If our enable is low and our inputs are high, we're connected to the NO configuration. Now the NC configuration connects EMMC. So if we have a look over here, 
we have our SD or we have our uh, EMMC and our SD pins shown on the right hand side. Our EMMC pins are connected up to the EMMC controller and the SD pins to the SD controller. And then we have our MSS IOs input pins on the left hand side. These pins are what set during the S or the E the MSS configuration in Libro. And then the input pins shown here on the right hand side actually control the configuration. So as I've the EMMC enabled in my Polar Fire SOC MSS configuration on bank two IOs as shown here, I need to set the enable low and the two input pins high, which is the SDIO SW EN pin and the SDIO SW select one and select zero pins. When I do that, the EMMC path will be selected. If I tie these two select pins high, the SD path will be selected and I should enable the SD card for my MSS IOs. So now if we go back to the configurator, um, we have our EMMP, EMMC pins enabled on bank four and see that on the right. We also have our USB pins enabled on MSS IOs bank two and we can see them here. SD and SDIO are unused in this configuration. And if you want to see the MSS configuration for SD, you can have a look at the SD configuration in the script support folder. We have our gigabit ethernet Mac enabled, where Mac zero is enabled on SGMII IOs bank five, and we have the TSU enabled as well. We also have Mac 1 enabled on SGMIO, SGMIOs um, bank 5, and the management is set for MSSIOs bank 2B, and the TSU is enabled in increment mode. The QSPY is enabled on the fabric, and SPY0 is also enabled on the fabric. SPY1 is connected to MSSIOs bank 2B. MMUART0 is enabled on the fabric in asynchronous mode along with UART1, UART2 and UART3. UART4 is marked as unused. I2C0 is marked as unused and I2C1 and I2C1 is connected up to MSS IOs bank 2B. CAN0 and CAN1 are both marked as unused and GPIO0 and GPIO1 are both marked as unused, while GPIO2, which is the fabric GPIOs, have some enabled. So for example, GPIO2 bits 16 to 19 are enabled as outputs, along with bits 26 and 27 as outputs, and bits 30 and 31 as inputs. The next thing that can be configured for the MSS is the IO ref clock and the default settings are used here with bank 5 voltage set to 3.3 volts and so on. You can also configure the bank 2 and bank 4 reference voltages and in this case uh, VDDI equals 3.3 volts and VDD aux equals 3.3 volts. And next you can configure your DD or memory. When you select a DDR memory type of LPDDR4, the default settings for the icicle kit are automatically applied. And they're shown here, for example, the TQ width of 32, memory format of component, row address width of 16, and clock frequency of 800. You can configure the rest of the DDR settings, such as DDR controller, uh, DDR memory initialization, and DDR memory timing further if you want, but these are the defaults that have been tested on the icicle kits. And finally, there's a miscellaneous tab that you can set up to enable things like the Ultrasoc debug, um, debug, debug block, uh, JTAG trace and debug ports on the fabric. And the only one that's enabled in the icicle kit reference configuration is the expose interrupt ports to fabric. To generate the XML and MSS uh, component for this configuration, click the generate icon 
up on the top left. And then if I go back into the icicle kit reference design folder, I'll make a folder called my MSS. And if I select that now, the MSS at Libro component and XML files for this configuration will be generated for me. If I go into that folder now, I have an icicle MSS.config file, which is the config file for this setup. I have an icicle MSS.cxe file, which can be imported into Libro. I have an icicle MSS underscore MSS config.xml file, which is XML that I can use in the bare metal application development flow and in the HSS to actually configure the MSS on system startup. And then I have an icicle MSS report.html file, which is a summary of what's in this um, MSS configuration. Now let's have a look at importing an MSS component into Libro. So let's say we've configured an MSS component, and I've called mine mymss.cfg, and we've clicked generate. Generate the component files into a folder that you want to. So I've created mine in a folder called my MSS. Once that's complete, you can go to Libro. So in my case, I've created an MSS test project and I've created a smart design called MSS base. If you go to the design flow, up at the top left, there's an import MSS option. If you double click this, and browse to the folder where you generated your MSS file, you can see an MSS.cxe file that's been generated there. And if you open this, the MSS is going to get imported into your Libro project. And you can see it in the design hierarchy. I now have an MSS component called Icicle MSS. And I can drag that onto my design canvas. Any of the pins shown in black on the left or right of the component are fabric pins. Any pins shown in red that are already promoted to the top level are MSSIOs. And any gold interfaces, starting with the name FIC, are the fabric interfaces for the MSS. So on the left, we have the FIC0 AXI4 slave from the default configuration. And on the right, we have the FIC1 AXI master and FIC3 APB master from this configuration.